the prediction on UC124, let the body sit the floor, St. Pierre versus Koscheck, how do they stack up this time, because the last time, Koscheck was like this, wrestling, hey, that is what I do my friend, you can't take me down, but GSP showed him that uh, he ain't the best wrestler in, in the town, and that's in, in the UC town. Uh, GSP actually took down Kostya two times. Hey, but Kostya took him down one time. Kostya had been knocked out. He, he 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 had some hard losses. So now we now he's got, now I believe he's gonna swallow his pride and stick to the game plan. GSP he always comes out come comes like a better version of of, of himself. Will he do that this time? Will him amplify that? Greg Jackson game plan, you know, push him up against the fence, turn him out, and take him down. Hey, the Chevy. GSP, GSP, GSP. GSP is the people champ. Josh Kostik is the villain, you know, the guy that everybody wants to see getting his ass kicked. Hey, you can call it boring, uh, you can call it safe. Whatever, it's smart because he's winning fights, you know, that GSP style, that Greg Jackson style. You know, you, you take the guy, stuff him up against the fence, make the guy defending the, the takedown. Hey, you don't, you, don't, you don't do any damage, but you're controlling that octagon, and that's what the UFC is all about. They're not, count, they're not judging after damage, just octagon control. That's the number one thing, octagon control, and Greg Jackson knows about Octagon Control and GSP's Greg Jackson's you know perfect student you know he's the he's that grasshopper all right uh, people is, is talking about that GSP is the best wrestler yada 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 GSP ain't the best wrestler believe that because it is different Dif different type of wrestling Josh Koscheck I believe that he's like fourth time division one champ and uh, DSP didn't didn't wrestle in college, but the thing is, it is two different type of styles, and I I'm gonna explain to you the difference. All right, at my gym, I wrestle a guy who is an Olympic caliber wrestler, uh, and we wrestle, and he's like, I'm a welterweight, I'm walking around about like 185 pounds. Uh, and that guy, he's like 158, 59 pounds. And I was like, who, who is that guy? We started to wrestle, and he he, he took me down Im immediately. I was like, what the, what the beep? And I was like, come on, touch hands and let, let let's do that again. And he took me down. He took me down. Then I, I then I, I was like bull rushing him, and he like switched and took me down again. I was like, who is that guy? Then people came up to me and said, that guy, he used to wrestle for the national team. I was like, okay, because my ego, my, my, I was like, damn, who, who is that little shrimp? But then when we sparred, you know, we takedowns. I want to spar, I, I wanted to spar with that guy. And I was like giving him body shots, body shots, and I give him like a straight, Straight, straight cross right in the face, and I took him down, and I, and I, I, I'm, and I, and, and, and I did it like two or three times in a row, the same thing. Okay, so what's what's the difference in a pure wrestling bout? GSP would get in his ass beaten by Josh Koscheck, believe me, but in a in an MMA fight. It's all about the transitions, you know, between striking, you know, grappling, you know, takedowns, you know, the timing, you know. You can trick the other guy to, like, like get his hands up, you know, move up the weight, the weight, and then you can, you can go under, you know. It's all about timing. That's what GSP, he got the best timing in the UFC. That's why he is so good, okay? Just cross-check. Need to be patient. And you need to 
get GSP scared, you know. For example, Masera, he clocked GSP. And he, he, he got rocked, and then he panicked, okay? He need to make... You need to do that. For example, if he wins the first round, for example, GSP maybe get a little bit, you know, tentative. You know, should, should I should I strike or should I wrestle? It's all about game plan. And Josh Koscheck is a much better striker now. So he will like he will he will swing hard. And if he, he can connect and like make GSP like feeling feel feel that power, he can switch up and take him down. Switch up and take him down. Uh, and you like make him bleed, you know. BD Pen made GSP bleed, and you you know how you saw how GSP looked like. He looked scared. The tricky part is to keep GSP down, you know, keep him down on the ground. But um, Josh Koscik, if he is the aggressor, he can like steal like one or the first or in the second round. Then it's a whole nother animal, okay? Everybody knows what GSP is gonna do, so we, we didn't we, we didn't need to talk about GSP. So I actually believe that Josh Koscheck can win like if if he can win two of the first three rounds, he can win this. If he, if 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 he don't win two of the three rounds, he won't win it because uh, GSP can make him so tired that he maybe gives up. You know, I actually believe that this is it. Uh, GSP uh, will lose this through a decision, and don't don't be surprised if Josh Koscheck connects really hard, and maybe the fight will get stopped. Okay, that doesn't mean that you know you know GSP ain't like the best welterweight, but you know Styles makes fight, and and uh, Josh Koscheck have that that wrestling pedigree that he can threat. GSP, you know, he can take him down, he can punch, he, he can strike, he can kick the whole arsenal. Jaya, so what do you think? Who, who will win this bout? Log on now to ufcevent.net and vote GSP or Karchik. And who do you think won the bout between Machida and Rampage? Log on and vote to that too. Aight? Stephen Strew versus Sean McCorkle. I don't feel any love for those guys. So, uh, Sean, Mc Sean McCorkle, decision maybe. But it can be pretty exciting, but I don't feel any, feel any love for them, and I, I don't see them. This fight is, is actually very, 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 very interesting. Jim the Slim Miller versus Charles Oliveira. Uh, Charles Oliveira is one of the best PDJ prospects in MMA today. Uh, Jim Miller, D Division One wrestler, black belt in BDJ, and his only loss is to Frankie Edgar and that other guy, the bully. You know, it's the guy who's, who's fighting for the belt. So this is very, very interesting. Um, decision, Jim Miller or submission, Charles Oliveira. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, I'll go to limb here and say Charles Oliveira submission, maybe rear naked choke. Joe the Gatekeeper Stevenson versus Mac the, the Vegetarian Danzig. I actually like Mac, Dan Mac Danzig. Uh, I, I, first time I saw him, I saw him fighting in Pride against uh, Mahasakrai. Sakurai. That was interesting. The thing is, <sighs> Mac Danzig, if he loses this, I I think the, the, he he's gonna get cut from the UC. Joe Stevenson though. Uh, He's a gatekeeper, so he should he should win this. So I have to go with Joe Stevens. Uh, maybe guilt that guillotine choke, but I hope that Mac Dancy. Tiago the Pitbull Alves versus John Doomsday Howard. Hey, Tiago Alves is actually one of my three favorite fighters, and I met him in London, England, at UC One Twenty Two. So I was happy. Uh, Tiago Alves, he needs to step it up. Dana White ain't happy with him. Uh, you know, he didn't make weight the last time. Uh, he, Dana White wants to see him in the middleweight division. Uh, so will Tiago make weight this time? And will he be so drained that he can't perform? What do you think? Write a comment. Hey, by the way, if you haven't seen the documentary, 
uh, when the pitbull bites. Yeah, I know that it, that it sounds like a DMX song, but uh, it is actually a documentary, very entertaining. Press the link down there. I predict second round KO uh, by Tiago Alves, and Tiago Alves should actually come into this song. Don't call it a comeback. I've been here for years. I'm rocking my pants. What's up with the beer? Yeah, Mama said knock you out. And it's all over.